Hi everybody, my name is Robert and you're watching That's the Movie. So today I'll be reviewing Homefront. Homefront is a movie that stars Jason Statham and James Franco. It's about Jason Statham plays this ex-DEA agent who um, had taken part in a big drug bust of this biker gang leader who has who deals meth. So when he got towards the end of the bust, he got he it was kind of his fault that he got the son killed the biker gang's son, like the leader, son killed. And then the biker gang leader gets arrested and blah, blah, blah. And then two years later, he's in some random small town in the middle of redneck country. That's, that's, that's pretty much what it was. What happens what gets him there. But either way, he gets there and he doesn't really fit in, maybe because he's British or XDA agent, whichever. But he doesn't really fit in. Uh, he he kind of gets in fights with some people, really bad altercations, where, like they get really hurt, like he beats the crap out of them, and it's a small town so the word goes around, you know. And then, um, in some situation, some sort of events lead that he gets, he catches, you know, James Franco's character's eye, and then after a while he figures out that he was an XDE agent hiding over here in this random country, I mean this random, uh, country, random town. And then he knows, because he finds some files about him, and then he knows that um, that he was the one that got this guy snitched on, that got this guy arrested, and no, and he figured that nobody else had found out who was the guy and got him arrested, until now. So, they get in contact with the guy's lawyer, and then they, uh, uh, with, the, with the biker gang leader's lawyer, and then they tell, the lawyer tells him, and then boom. Now he's asked to, like, survive, because they know that he's the XD agent and where he's at and that he has a daughter and everything. So that's the story. That's it. It's, it's supposed to be an action movie. And yeah. Anyways, let's get started with the writing specifically. This is actually written by Sylvester Stallone, you know? I, I forgot that he wrote some stuff, mostly action movies, but yeah, he wrote a, I think he wrote, what's it called? The Expendables? Maybe? I think he wrote those movies? I'm not entirely sure, but I, I know he's written action movies before. But he wrote this one, and writing-wise, I thought it was just fine. Nothing excellent to it. Um, it wasn't any corny, corny one-liners, I think so. But I did like uh, James Franco's character a bit. He was pretty cool. And especially Kate Bosworth's character, who's actually the sister of James Franco's character. I thought it was. I thought she did. She was probably like the best part of the movie. And even though she wasn't on for a lot, but she was like the best part. She was just a supporting actress, but she was best I think and yeah everything was written pretty nicely there wasn't anything bad to it I kind of felt though this was based on a book I think the writer was Chuck Logan I think that was right but yeah this is based on a book and I felt like having Sylvester Stallone attached to this as a writer it kind of gave it more of an action vibe but it felt like because the first half of the movie was just pretty slow really slow and I felt it felt like this didn't this was trying not to be an action movie, but yet trying to be an action movie a bit more than it was trying not to be, if you, if you follow me. Because the book, you can tell, was not entirely action. It was more of like a drama and crime. It wasn't anything else. It wasn't a lot of action like, like you know, in the movie there was. Either way, it was, it was okay. I didn't think it was that awesome. Should you go see it? Uh, maybe, maybe not. You'll find out. Anyways, let's talk about the acting now. The acting, this stars um, Jason Statham, James Franco, Kate Bosworth, and uh, we own a writer, and as well as this little girl whose her name is Isabella Vidovic. And out of all of those, I think really the best ones, I thought James Franco was alright. Uh, James Franco has this sort of thing where, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of iffy about him. Same thing I have, he has kind of the same thing I have with Shia LaBeouf where I'm like, you're convincing sometimes, most of the time you're just like spitting and screaming and it's, uh, that's it, <laughs> that's what you get. But for James Franco, I'm, I'm always kind of, you know, iffy about it, but he's still pretty good, he's, he's pretty decent. And I like him, and I kind of don't like him sometimes, but here, I, I kind of liked him, like, I really hated him in Spring Breakers though. Probably just his character, because he was so annoying, but not like his job, like himself, like his job, but... Like, the character was really annoying. And this one, he was kind of like a really toned down version of that character. 
but yet at times would get really crazy if he could but there wasn't a lot of his outbursts I thought it was all right not the best one in the film like really my favorite was Kate Bosworth's character which plays his sister like I mentioned earlier and she was she wasn't a lot on there, but she played like this sort of meth addict, and she was pretty funny. She kind of stole the show a few times, thought she was like the funniest character. Again, this wasn't a comedy, but compared to everyone else, she was the most entertaining character. And now we get to, you know, James, I mean not James, Jason Statham. There's not much to say about Jason Statham. It's really just, you gotta listen to me, type of stuff. And then, whoosh, whoosh, like, he, he, this is his Oscar winners right here. These two fists, nothing else to it. I thought it was alright, badass like always, but nothing else, that's it. That's pretty much it, just badass like fighter, good, awesome guy, he, and he always lands these roles where somehow these guys know how to kick some ass, like lots of it. He's really good, but that's it, just fighting, just like a badass character, but nothing else. There was nothing like really good about He's not really probably the most talented person on there. Like I did like the, his daughter who played like the girl who played his daughter who was played by Isabella Vidovic and she was very good. You know for a young girl she was pretty nice. She did a good job. I enjoyed her. She wasn't annoying. She wasn't like a really annoying little girl like most of these characters that they have for the girls nowadays. But yeah she was fine. And we own a writer. I thought she was whatever. I mean she did a good job. She was probably the like there's some supporting actor, actors, actors and actresses that you notice that they're better than everyone else in the movie, but they do so little that the most, the like general audience wouldn't notice how good they are unless you're looking at it. Since I was looking at it, I thought she was probably the most talented next to Kate Bosworth. Those two were probably the most talented actresses in the whole movie. So again, it was okay. Now we get into the directing. Was it bad? No. Was it good? No, it was just okay. Most of the time it really annoyed me. I don't know if it was the director's choice visually or if it was the DP or the cinematographer, but it was just annoying sometimes. Like this sort of, they do this thing, you know, if anybody's familiar with Neil Blomkamp stuff where he kind of zooms in on a, on a certain thing and it kind of zooms out, it kind of works when he does it. But when they did it in this movie, I was like, oh, this is so annoying. Like it really bothered me the whole time. Every time it did it, it was just like annoying, annoying, annoying. But it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. It was bad at some times. At least I didn't enjoy it. But a few times it was good. And like the fight scenes were, I think were choreographed like really good. They were nice. They were really good fight scenes like always. And probably mostly because Sylvester Stallone was attached to it. I mean, he was one of the producers. So he might have had some say in probably like pick some of the stunt people himself and I thought the fight scenes were fine and so were uh, any of the gun shooting scenes. I don't know if there's an actual name for that. Whatever. But even, but there was one like driving scene and I didn't really like it at all. It was like just boring and like it whatsoever. It wasn't engaging and then it just used some like CGI crash or something. I was like ugh, whatever. So it wasn't that good. At least the at least the driving scene. But besides that, like the fighting and the and the shootout scenes were were all done really nice. I really liked them. So should you go see this? Probably not. Uh, if you like mindless action movies, but not too much action in them, just enough, then yeah, go see this. Anyways, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter at the Real Robert AH, as well as uh, Facebook. And you guys can check me out at my column at thesashamarinashow.com under topics that's the movie and every Monday I have this sort of podcast type radio thing with Sasha which I uh, report on the new, new movie news like all the latest movie news what's going on like what and yeah I report on that sometimes video games sometimes movie I mean sometimes TV shows if I really want to report on it I will because if it's something that really like I think it is worth men mentioning then I will report on it but yeah besides that that's this that's about it, guys, you know, just check it out. It's pretty cool. It's every Monday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and, you know, fill in the rest in between with your math skills. Yeah, and yeah, um, that's the movie. In the, talk about the movie didn't have a lot of action, but it felt more action oriented. Like it was trying to go through the action approach, but also trying not to. To have a bit more of the, oh, this is a dramatic 
crime movie. No, it was whatever, really. It was in. It was really slow paced at the beginning. It, it was kind of bored. I was kind of bored like halfway through. I was like, oh god, when is this gonna end? Luckily, the movie did, was not that long. It was. No, it was pretty long. Never mind. That movie was like about two hours long. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Nothing Oscar worthy. <laughs> But yeah, that kind of reaches the end of this. We're at the end of this review. Yay.